Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christy and I am going on my third year of homeschooling. I have five kids. I have all ages ranging from a baby all the way up to almost 11 years old. So I will be homeschooling four out of my five kids this coming school year. If you've been around for a while, you would know that we started our homeschooling journey off in our own homeschooling room. But my husband and I recently turned that into my two youngest room because it's right next to the master bedroom. And so we converted our homeschooling space over here in our dining room. So this video is all about our homeschooling space over here in the dining area for the upcoming 2021-2022 school year. We are currently undergoing some changes. We've made some changes. I will take you guys around we're a little under construction over here but that's okay because it's about 80 percent done i would say so this is a collaboration with just making it work so be sure to check out her channel down below as well as the playlist full of amazing ladies giving you a tour of their homeschooling space. I'm sure we're going to see a bunch of different kinds of spaces, whether you're looking for inspiration for a larger homeschooling area or a smaller homeschooling area like ours. So without further ado, I am going to take you around our homeschooling dining area. Okay, walking in to our dining area. This is our homeschooling space. We have had this cube storage shelf for a while. We used it in here when we transferred everything into our dining area, but these shelves are new. I actually got these from Walmart. I will link them down below. They were super easy to put together and they've held up really well so far. So I got two of them to put them side by side. I wanted three, but they weren't gonna fit on that wall. So two is just fine. It's plenty of storage for this space and it's really helped me to stay a little bit more organized. A question I get asked a lot is, do you prefer the kids at their own individual desks or do you prefer it around the table? Well, my answer to that is it's going to be a personal preference. The thing I did like about the individual desks was less distractions amongst the kids. But what I do like about being around the table as opposed to the desks, especially with a bigger family, is that you can include everybody. So my toddler will sit at the table. If we're doing art or whatever we're doing, she can be included in on it. And also for our family subjects, we ended up moving out to the living room anyway for those things. So we weren't staying at the desks for all that long throughout the day anyway, basically just for individual work. But now the kids will do their individual work all around the house. So some kids will go in the living room, some kids will sit here at the dining room table, but I prefer it for a larger family just because it's easier to have everybody in one spot at one time and there's a work surface right there. And we could put our board right there. I can show something on the board to everybody at the same time. It just works out for us in this season of life. So starting with our cabinets, like I said, I got these from Walmart and we just put all of our books here. Up here are all of our novels or um, chapter books. I have a bunch of I Survived and the Who Was books right here. And then just some random ones thrown in. Some of these we've already done as read alouds. At the very end here, I have Maddie's books that she can read through whenever she wants to. On this second shelf, I have like all of our science books, seasonal books. Um, I have, it looks like some uh, like biblical books here too. So these are the books that we'll go to if we have a certain theme in mind for the day or if it's a certain season. I will pull these books out and probably put them out on display. I have these Answers and Genesis books right here. And then in this bucket, I have the beginner readers books and some musical multiplication from The Good and the Beautiful and our Wreck and Wreck right there from Maddie's Math K a couple of years ago. I just keep this around because it is a nice little counter for math. 
Down here, I have our bigger reference books like the dictionary and the thesaurus and um, some of the bigger like Smithsonian books that we have, as well as I also have Zoe's pre-K stuff here. So I have this folder has some of her curriculum in it and then I have just her little workbooks and things right here as well as her dot markers out of reach because she loves these things <laughs> so I keep those out of reach. Here is where I am storing all of our My Father's World curriculum. I have them in these two bins right here. So I will be pulling out whatever we need for that day out of these bins. But I also have our art stuff here. It's just kind of a mixture of our family units as well. So mostly it's our father's world right here and then family units right here that we are adding in as well as some little read alouds and things to go with our units. Up here I have the kids books that they will be reading on their own this year as well as the Good and the Beautiful library. So the Good and the Beautiful library right here, this is all the chapter books that we have from the Good and the Beautiful as well as I Sat by the Sea from Elijah's level 3 language arts this past year. I love this little poetry book so we kept that around. And then here I have each of the kids uh, individual reading books that way I can just grab it and um, I know exactly where they're at. In this little bin, I got these little bins from Dollar General for like a dollar each, I think. And I have some magnetic letters there for Zoe. I've got some glue sticks up here. I have some paint in this bucket right here. And then this is my shelf. I have all of my mama books. I've got my Bible. I've got um, my Bible handbook from the Daily Grace Co. And then I've got the things that I am currently reading up here. I am always reading multiple books. Who else is with me? <laughs> I, I feel like I never fully finish a book before starting another. So these are all of my books that I am reading right now. All right, down here I have all of the things that are just easy to grab um, if I need to copy them. Here I have my art box here that we're going to be unboxing here soon. Um, but these are just things that I will grab for if we have like morning stuff to do. We've got our spelling books here that I photocopy the kids spelling lists and workbook pages. I have our 24 family ways and then I have some like math time tests here. Um, just things that we will probably do in the mornings here and there. All right, down here in this cabinet, this is my favorite part about having these cabinets is that I get to hide away some of the clutter. So we have a bunch of games and things here. I've got flashcards, I've got bingo, uh, sight swat, some puzzles. We've got just some little games here. Um, some more bingo. <laughs> My kids really like bingo. And then down here are Zoe's things. So I've got like her little preschool busy book. I've got her counting bears here, some Eric Carl books, and some puzzles right there. So I have all of that tucked away behind our cabinet doors, which is super nice. And then here, dun dun dun. <laughs> hey, I didn't promise that this was going to be completely organized. <laughs> I've got my computer paper here. This is all of the curriculum I kind of need to sell. Um, I don't need it anymore. So yeah, I'm kind of a curriculum hoarder right now and I need to put this up for sale. I've got all kinds of things here. So I need to get rid of this stuff. Here are just kind of some of our overflow things from last school year. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these things. Um, I'm not... I'm not sure I want to sell them, especially like not grass history and things that we didn't actually finish this past year. So these are things I may hang on to, not 100% sure. And this is our morning basket. We are bringing back the morning basket this coming school year. I still have more to put together in that. This is where we are going to store our morning basket. That is behind cabinet number two, not 100% organized. And then we've got this corner. Let's just pretend this doesn't exist. Still trying to figure out what to do with this. Probably I'm going to end up taking this out. I have just a random shelf here just for decoration. I'm still not 100% happy with all this, but whatever. We just kind of put things together. 
All right, now coming over here across the table, I have my art cart, which I need to restock with supplies for this coming school year. So up here, I just have like our paint brushes, three hole punch, extra pencils, just some odds and ends up here. I've got some envelopes here because the kids like writing the pen pals. And then down here, I have our watercolors. And down here are just some extra colored pencils. And um, I also keep, our dash in the learning books down here. So those, that's our art cart for now. I need to restock that. I am going to do a big Amazon um, restock haul for you guys coming soon. Up here is our little file shelf thing. I don't know how to describe it, but I've got Kaylin's Saxon math book solutions manual up here and then here I just kind of keep our printer ink for the Epson which I guess I didn't really point out we use an Epson eco tank 2720 I always get asked what kind of printer we have um, I wish I would have gone with the 2760 in hindsight because I want the automatic double-sided printing but I love my Epson I cannot complain I've got some school meet the instrument cards here um, I just kind of keep these around just for quick reference, just some odds and ends things up there as well. And then this is more of my desk slash what the kids use for the curriculum and also storage for paper, clutter, and their crayons and things like that. So starting up here, we hang our artwork up here on this little line. I might add another one on top of it because our ceilings are so high. So. I think I might end up adding a second one. Um, this is the whiteboard. This is a two by two foot by three foot whiteboard. For me, I find it is the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's just perfect for what we need it for. I've got our summer schedule up. Guys, invest in magnetic whiteboard erasers. Trust me, <laughs> you will never lose your eraser again. Why didn't I not think of this before? We're working through the Good and the Beautiful Summer Reading Program right now, so I have the kids' summer reading programs up there. And then I have just some random office supplies here. I've got our current read aloud, and then I kind of just store the things that I need day, day to day, like our fix-it grammar that I write up on the board, so I just store it right here by the board. And then here is my planner, my plum paper planner. Um, and then I also have this little weekly calendar right here just for quick reference on what I'm going to be doing week by week. Pencils, Sharpies, highlighters, and scissors, and pens, which always seem to go missing. Pencil sharpener. And then down here are all of the kids' individual curriculum boxes. So I switched out the file folders that we were using last year for these bigger storage bins from Target. So this is Kaylin's. It holds way more, which is why I switched it out. This is Elijah's and then this is Maddie's. And then I also, I need to get a new little whiteboard. Also just have like our little clocks and like reference pages and things like that that the kids use. Here's some of our loose leaf drawing paper. Here's some like coloring books and crayons and colored pencils, which I need to honestly go through all of this stuff and take inventory and restock what we need. Those are just kind of art supplies down there for the kids whenever they want to color on their own time or even during school. And then over here, these shelves are from Amazon and these are the um, current read alouds or picture books that go with whatever we're learning at the time. I still have these up from last school year, but Zoe really, really likes these books and we are doing top school right now this summer. So I have those up there and then I've got these books. I, um, I want to do the Waldock Way's survival curriculum. And so we got this survival camp. This book, though, is a little bit graphic, just warning you. So, yeah, if you saw this and you're like, ooh, I want that, just warning you. I think that Bear Grylls has some other books out there, but this one's a little bit graphic, but my kids already looked at it, so it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> Nature Anatomy. So, yeah, these are all of our books that we 
have displayed right now. And then these are our read alouds for next school year. And the rest of this is empty right now. So that is just kind of what our homeschool situation looks like right now. So the changes that we are going to be making is I believe I'm going to be taking down this science poster and putting up two more of these so that I have more book storage um, because I've noticed like even with all of these shelves, I run out of space quickly. I think putting two more bookshelves would serve us well in this space, making the most of our wall space. Like I said, this is our third year of homeschooling. So our space is always going to be evolving. We're always going to be changing things up as need be. This space serves us well right now in this season of life, having some littles, um, having multiple kids that I am constantly having to attend to. So being able to move from kid to kid easily around the dining room table is just so much easier for me than going from individual desk to individual desk or even to address each kid at the same time when we're doing family units or whatever it may be. I've just found it personally easier to do school around the kitchen table. So I hope that you enjoyed this tour of our homeschooling space as it is right now. Like I said, we're constantly changing it, but this is what it looks like going into this next school year. We're going to be starting in about a month. So um, we will be starting here soon and uh, it was nice getting this uh, area somewhat organized we still have some more things to add and i still have some restocking i have to do and some inventory to take but for the most part this is what our homeschool area is going to look like this next school year so be sure to check out the playlist so that you can get inspiration for your homeschooling space whatever it may be whether it's a big space or a small space there's something for everybody so I have way more homeschooling content coming to you soon. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified anytime I post a new video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking